legendary names in American music, the late clarinetist Benny Goodman and composer-conductor Aaron Copland in a performance of Copland's Clarinet Concerto. It's a piece you'll actually be able to hear this weekend right here in Madison as the Madison Symphony Orchestra kicks off its season. And joining me now is MSO principal clarinetist Joseph Morris. You're going to be the featured soloist in that piece this weekend. It's great to have you here. So tell us about this uh, Copland Clarinet Concerto. What makes it tough for you as a performer and interesting for audiences? It's one of my favorite pieces, um, and it's something that I've gotten to study since I was in high school, actually. Uh, and this is the first time I've ever gotten to play it with an orchestra, so I'm very excited. Um, I think that it, it takes advantage of all of the things about the clarinet that are special. Um, the first movement is very typical to Copland's writing, uh, and it's got this very lyrical, uh, floating quality that, that uh, orchestral composers have used mm -hmm. the clarinet for, for for years. And then it sort of morphs slowly into what was clearly a piece written for Benny Goodman, and you get those jazz elements, and you get the more raucous clarinet sound yeah. added in. And so I think it's the best of every possible world, really. And it's interesting because Benny Goodman commissioned this work, right? At, right? So what does it mean for you, a clarinetist, to, to play a piece that he commissioned and performed. I mean, Benny Goodman. A, a right, I mean, obviously, yeah. He, it, it, it's, it's cool to be part of the same legacy that, that he was. I mean, nobody who plays the clarinet, you know, doesn't come across Benny Goodman and, yeah. and his playing. Uh, and he, he actually did a wonderful job of commissioning a number of, of works of hmm. great 20th century composers. Uh, and so both his sound and style and as well as his, you know, willingness to, to make new music happen for our instrument, it's, it's very special to be part. Uh, happy birthday, by the way, because you just turned 25, right? That's right, yesterday. And a few, a couple of years ago, you beat out 45 other clarinetists for this for this job with the Madison Symphony Orchestra. What's the experience been like for you the last couple of years? It's been fantastic. I mean, it's it's really been a, a dream of mine since I was a kid uh, mm -hmm. to be a principal clarinetist of an orchestra. Um, and obviously, the audition process is very competitive anywhere that you go. And so, mm -hmm. after fighting my way through several rounds in Madison, it's been a, a huge treat to be part of such a wonderful ensemble. I've made many close friends. Uh, the, the audience is lovely. It's a, a true dream come true for me. Yeah. Well, wow. Well, we look forward to hearing you this weekend. And there are a couple other pieces. Tell us about those briefly that uh, sure. so we'll be performing. Uh, the concert's going to open with Beethoven's Leonor Overture Number no. 3, which is beautiful work. Uh, and it's going to close. Actually, I'm going to perform again in the mm -hmm. final piece of the concert on Tchaikovsky's Symphony oh, nice. Number no. 4, yeah. uh, which is a very epic Russian you know, kind of fate motif symphony, I think is going to be very exciting. Fantastic. Well, we're going to have you play us out to break, but first we want to let people know that tickets are available. You see the information there. The performances are Friday, 7.30, Saturday at 8, Sunday at 2.30. For tickets, go to newslinks at NBC15.com. Joseph Morris, thank you so much. Go ahead and play us out to break. Okay. Great to have you here.